you for this opportunity. It's an honor to address a big mass of an audience here who've taken out their time and invested their next 45 minutes. I'll try to see that it's worthwhile spending a time with you guys. Thank you for this. Good morning, everyone. And as Anil said, I hope with Anil we can add value to your time today. And I look forward to this session. You can't just target one at a time in front of a huge battalion of an army with just a rifle or a pistol which shoots one bullet at a time. Imagine you have a machine gun which randomly fires bullets with speed. That's the solution. We have now customers who are looking to connect the LMS system to the RNR process. And it is not just a transfer of points. It is actually a mapping of how learning can be rewarded, which you know, in, in, in kind of turn makes learning a motivated uh, process and impacts business output. How can we measure the ROI after training? Most of the times it is very subjective. I think uh, it is true and I would love to hear your views. I think so a lot of work has to be done along with the stakeholders to identify what kind of learning would you like to have. Uh, I'm sure you know the training doesn't happen by a mere task of an agenda what the learning department or the LND section is trying to float it in the organization. But this is a kind of a desire and the need which is coming out of a business and if the business is needing it, it has to be a joint proposition and when it becomes a joint proposition, what is it that you intend to measure gets signified. So it's very important that when you say ROI, it's like measuring something. If you're not defined anything, you can't measure anything. Another question we have is, apart from record keeping, how can we make an LMS more attractive to the user? So instead of looking at you know, making it attractive, I think the focus has to be on making it relevant and important for the users 